Hi, Jessica. Hi. So you haven't actually been acting that long, have you? You started as a dancer and moved into it. Do you want to explain a bit more about that? Yeah, I, I um, started about 17. I It just, the dancing ended and I, I moved to London and acting was something I'd always, in the back of my mind, sort of harboured ideas of doing, but I'd never sort of... I'd never really been able to go out and do it because I was so focused with ballet. And then being in London and being that bit older, I was then able to sort of experiment and do that. Although my dad always says that I've been acting since I was very young. I think okay. he's not very surprised that I've ended up being an actor. He says I've done it from day one. So, And do you think there's things you learned from the dancing that you're now applying to acting, like skills? Yeah, I think so. I think it's all sort of a similar ilk. It's It's... It's performance, it's becoming a character, it's learning sort of techniques and, and certain things and ways to do things and then being able to being able to put them into a performance without it seeming obvious and, and that it's it's there underneath it but it's not the thing that's being displayed. You're displaying emotion and, and a story and telling it and and efficiently as possible. So it's sort of it's all sort of come round about, but it's um it's certainly a very um I think it's worked quite a nice foundation. It's something I always reference back to. And I yeah. absolutely think it's, without it, I wouldn't probably have done what I've done. It's sort of that creative Led art foundation. It. Yeah, absolutely. And Amelia as well has to go through a bit of a self-assessment and work out who she is. Do you think that's why you're attracted to the role with the similarities there? Yeah, I think I think there was a similarity in, in that sort of, that crux of a moment in your life where whether it's through choice or circumstances lead to you ending up being able to understand yourself a little bit better or discovering that, you know, actually it's fine that I feel like that or I am like this and and sort of learning how to deal with that. It's um it's sort of all come about at the same time, both for me and her. So it was a I think sort of slightly therapeutic way of working mm. in dealing with that. She just she does it in a much more overt way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's, I think I've gone she's about out things. there. She's <laughs> she's pretty out there. And Amelia and Breath are pretty different. So which yeah. one do you think you're more like? Um I think I'm somewhere in between. I think oh, at school I was um quite very studious and and well, not so much that, but I just I enjoyed school so much, and I loved being there. I had a really good circle of friends, and and I just enjoyed learning so much. But at the same time, I think I would have loved to have been more rebellious. I was just too afraid. So it was so wonderful to be able to do all those things, but have the safety net of the fact that it's a film. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to get in trouble. It's <laughs> a good part. So, what do you think the most rebellious thing you did as a teenager was? Anything? Oh, break into oh, any gigs or get goodness. detention for anything? <laughs> no, I'm such a loser. I've never <laughs> even had one detention. I think, oh, when I was younger, I got, I had a boyfriend at school when I was sort of in about year ten, was about fifteen, sixteen, and I, and I was told in assembly to stand up, and then my boyfriend was told to stand up in front of the whole year, and we were told if we were going to flout the rule of no kissing allowed in school, <laughs> would you please not do it like these two idiots and snog every day at the end of school outside the headmaster's window? He can see you, oh. and that was really embarrassing, because oh, your whole year's there and they're just laughing. Although that's really awful. I think my I think my boyfriend at the time was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. In but front of all his mates. Yeah, in front of his <laughs> mates. Like, player. I was really embarrassed, but I think he liked it. <laughs> yeah, I bet, yeah, I bet he did. So um, Amelia's got some very emotional scenes, but you've got some scenes where you've got to like flash and wear a pretty saucy outfit. Mm. So which was the hardest to do? Do you reckon? Um, oh, definitely wearing like running around in a Princess Leia outfit. It's sort of... <laughs> my, my, my outfit of choice is not a bikini. Um, that That's much harder because it's sort of... It, you instantly do feel more exposed, but then Amelia wouldn't care. She loves it. She wants people to look at her yeah. in that way. And um, But the emotional scenes, I mean, they were really scary. I did all of them pretty much within the first week. We had to do all the in-store stuff while it was all rainy outside. Um... But it, but it's so exciting doing those because you come home at the end of the day and you just feel, I mean, you feel so drained having done that kind of, taking yourself to that sort of yeah. way. But that's that's when I really felt like, as it really felt as if I was doing something 
worthwhile and, and the emotion really comes through in the film. It's not just sort of some happy-go-lucky, like, comedy. It is it is a drama, It's but the laughter's there when when you're at a point where you can't do anything other than laugh, which yeah. is nice. It had Good me balance. crying. had me crying. So. <laughs> what, if you transplanted Amelia into Downton Abbey for the day, what do you think she'd get up to? Oh, my good God. <laughs> Probably everything. She would do everything. She'd probably wander around in the corset and refuse to wear the dress. Um, she'd probably have a pop at, um, <laughs> you know, one of the servants downstairs, just be flirting downstairs, walking around, and who knows what she'd do. I think she'd probably raid the drinks cupboard oh, yeah. in the... Um, in the after, you know, where you go and sit after dinner and and definitely use the wrong forks and knives at things. She'd probably oh, insult Granny. It would not be a good idea, I don't think. Although, hilarious idea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe she'd have a go at Carson. You never know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <That'd be brilliant. laughs> All right, thank you very much, thank Jessica. You so much.